Hey guys, it's Edwin here from Power Products. Today I'm going to show you how to update the configuration file on a C zone system via the Koi. Now, what you'll need is a USB, a screwdriver, and you'll need to download the latest configuration tool from the C zone portal. Now, make sure that you format your USB before you insert it into the Koi. Uh, the first step is we need to read the configuration from the network. Okay, now insert the USB into the USB port. Grab your screwdriver, press and hold the USB button for five seconds or until you see the LED flash red. There you go. Now don't remove the USB until you see that LED turn solid green. Might take about 20 seconds, there you go. Safely remove the USB, plug that into your laptop. Open your USB drive. Now you can see it's created four files. The first file is the USB result, which gives you details on the last operation. It says C zone configuration successfully read from the network and copied to the USB memory stick. It gives you the file name. Uh, it gives you some information on how to read and write to the network and also how to um, update the firmware. The next file is the czone.back file, so you'll need that to write back to the network. So leave that on the USB stick. The third file is a spreadsheet, and it gives you all the modules on the network, it gives you the dip switch setting, gives you the firmware file, and it gives you the name of the system as well. And the last file is the configuration file. Now you'll want to Save these onto your desktop. So now you can delete uh, these ones from the memory stick. But make sure you leave the czone.back file on there. Okay, now you can open your uh, configuration file. Make the changes necessary for this exercise. I'm just going to uh, change the outdoor light fuse rating to 10 amps. Save the configuration file. Now I'm just going to put today's date on there. Save. Open your USB drive. Copy and paste the new configuration file onto the USB drive. Now you want to make sure that all you have on the USB is just the configuration file and the czone.back file to write back to the network. Okay, now we can close this and we can stick that into our coin. Grab your screwdriver, press and hold the USB button or until you see that LED flash red. Now this may take up to 10 to 20 minutes, depending on how many modules you have on the network. You see they're all flashing, receiving the uh, configuration. And that's completed. Now you can safely remove the USB. If you want to check that it's successfully written to the network, you can plug your USB back into your laptop, open up the drive, Open the USB result, and you can see it says C zone configuration successfully written to the network from the USB memory stick. And then it gives you the new file name. You can also check in the spreadsheet that it's got the new file name, which it does. And that's it from me, guys. That's how you update a C zone system by the Koi. I'll see you next time.